am a conservation photographer, which means that I tell stories with photographs about the conservation of rare and threatened species. And when I read about the story of Mauritius's rare and endangered species, I was so inspired because Mauritius, although it has many species that are critically endangered, has done an outstanding job of preserving and conserving these species. And because of the outstanding work of organizations like Mauritian Wildlife Foundation and the National Parks and Conservation Service, these species now exist in the wild. We chose Mauritius Beyond the Dodo as the theme of the exhibition because the dodo is everywhere in Mauritius, but it's nowhere in Mauritius. It's been extinct for almost 300 years, and yet you see the dodo on t-shirts, on coffee mugs, at every shop that you stop at because we want to move people beyond talking about the dodo to actually talking about all of the amazing, amazing creatures that Mauritius has left in its forests. And we thought that some of the species, like this amazing lizard, or um, the Round Island bottle palm, or the Mauritius olive white eye, which is the rarest bird species in Mauritius right now, we thought those are the ones that need to be highlighted. Those are the ones that people need to be talking about because we actually have a chance to save these species. And so that's why it's called Mauritius Beyond the Dodo. This exhibition is a result of four months' work uh, on my part and the part of Jacques Despeville, another photographer from Mauritius, who has a number of images of birds featured in the exhibition. Uh, working on this project was very exciting, and it was often difficult to access some of the plants, especially, which are often restricted to just one tiny area of a mountain in Mauritius. I had to climb up the mountains. I had to be there early in the morning so that the light was good. I had to hike up on the summit of Round Island at sunset to make sure that I got the light just perfect on the Round Island bottle palm or the Aldabra tortoise. Uh, and so a lot of it is spending a lot of time in the field being patient. But I can't really complain because it's a beautiful place to be. Mauritius has a lot of a potential to become a wonderful ecotourism destination, to really promote its wildlife and its wild places as places that tourists and foreigners would want to visit, like hiking um, or going out wildlife watching. And I hope that that's developed further in the future because I think that ecotourism is a great way to encourage the protection of native species. Wildlife photography is all about patience and time and to capture that moment where everything comes together, the light and the color and the composition. For this gecko photo, for instance, I would think I was standing in front of this beautiful plant um, for maybe three hours before the gecko came out in just the right way so that it provided this beautiful shape. I think that as wildlife photographers, it, it really does take putting in the time to make sure that you get the moments that really connect with people. I would also like to um, invite any schools in the country that are interested in hosting this exhibition to contact the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation because we are interested in traveling the exhibition to more schools, um, high schools, to uh, shopping malls, and to make sure it gets as wide uh, an audience as possible.